Welcome Scorpios and thank you for being here today. This is your weekly love message for week commencing Monday the 13th of December through to Sunday the 19th of December 2021. On the left hand side will be your crowning message cards and on the right hand side your crowning wisdom message cards. So let's jump straight in and have a look and see what your overarching crowning messages are for the week ahead. So the Scorpios that I am picking up this week during the meditation for this weekly reading, um, I received your channeled message um, around uh, you are definitely being guided to be in the present, to be in the here and now. Whoever you are connecting with Scorpios uh, honestly and truly, uh, they are definitely your soulmate twin flame. Um, you may be, you may not have cottoned on to that as yet. Um, and I feel that your spirit team are bringing in a lot of um, either animal totems or animal spirit guides are around you. Or if you have pet pets or if your person has pets, if you start seeing them, um, you know, um, moving around you, you start seeing animals randomly um kind of in your path as you're going about your day-to-day -day business that is your sign and sync that's the signs that your spirit team are trying to bring to you um in order to show you something to show that this person whoever you're connecting with is um your soulmate twin flame okay um now uh you're the second um uh star sign uh zodiac sign scorpios that i've received this really really strong presence of um animals um i received it for virgo but it was very a lot more specific than i got for you so if you've got virgo in your chart or your person has got virgo in their chart it might be worth having a look at the uh virgo reading because that was quite powerful um with the specific um imagery that i got with regards to animals animal totems etc now whoever you are connecting with i would say that this person is quite intuitive it wouldn't surprise me if you know when you have that um that situation where if you're if you're about to phone this person or they're about to phone you it's like you know or they know that you're about to reach out to them and they may turn around and or they may have said to you in the past you know what i was just thinking about you and then lo and behold score you send me a message or you've just you've just called me something like that so the two of you are definitely um connected on that telepathic kind of um energy on that wavelength um and i feel that uh, whatever's going on between the two of you they're quite burdened by it um they definitely have recognized a long time ago uh that you are their twin flame ultimate soulmate um and i feel as if they're really really disappointed um quite heartbroken actually over whatever has gone down with the two of you i don't uh, they're not telling me what it is um but what i do know is that it's got to a point where divine intervention is coming in and it's going to turn in their favor uh okay so it almost feels as if scorpio you're not seeing something that's right in front of you um and that's why they're saying that you need to be present you need to be in the here and now okay so let's have a look at your uh crowning messages my angels and spirit guides of the divine please can you tell me our crowning messages to the question thank you so <laughs> look at that very interesting didn't i say talent um so uh whatever it is this spiritual i feel that it's a spiritual talent uh scorpios that you and this person have um and i feel that it's something to do with like telepathy it's like you know each other's thoughts without actually speaking and it may be a gift that you may have been dancing around or you're not embracing and i feel that you're being guided to embrace that now interestingly enough i've just done libra who came out with the prosperity card right at the beginning big beginning of their crowning messages um so again if you're connecting with a virgo or a libra or you have virgo or libra in your chart might be worth um, having a look at those messages but i feel that uh divine spirit universe is saying that you're not being in the present and so therefore you cannot see this connection and the prosperity of it um, it almost feels as if uh, Scorpios as well, if you have got some sort of contract or a new job that you're going for, 
uh, that's been in the pipeline, it feels as if you're going to get some good news. There's going to be an increase in money or a windfall of some shape, form or another. Um, but I feel now look at those two energies kind of dancing together. It almost feels as if you're being guided to be in the present, harness your spiritual gifts um, and you will pick up that this person sees this connection as very prosperous prosperous, um, very fortuitous, something that um, I feel that when you put the two of your resources together, uh, your financial uh, wealth increases, okay, or to the two of you coming together may launch a business or something by harnessing your skills, your gifts, your professional skills and gifts, but also there is that element of a spiritual gift that I'm picking up, and for me, what I was picking up is almost kind of like that um, uh, telepathy, um, being able to kind of um, know what each other's doing without actually speaking to one another. Let's continue. My, thank you. Oh, wow. This person is part of your life purpose. Wow. Um, so part of the, uh, straight away with this tree here, the, the roots of this connection go deep. So that is um, giving me affirmation that this is definitely an ultimate soulmate or a twin flame. For, for many of you, it could be different. Um, but I'm really, really picking up twin flame connection. Uh, hence why the road has been quite bumpy and possibly why this person is really burdensome and really disappointed about how things have gone down. Now, do you know what, uh, Scorpio, you may uh, consciously or unconsciously not be aware that you are actually connecting with your twin flame uh, um, soulmate, um, uh, ultimate soulmate, because you're not really be it being in the present. Many of you may be focused on your money at the moment, which is not a bad thing. You're going to get a breakthrough with that. Um, however, part of your life purpose is this person. It's almost as if like the two of you together, putting your skills together, create a lot of financial wealth and it is part of your life purpose with this card what's really beautiful is almost as if your spirit team are bringing in um animals or animal totems around you in order to light the way of this path and it's like they're standing on either side of you almost cheering you both on to follow the light to follow the light and the path that they're illuminating for you and all they want to do is just celebrate and say yes you've got it but you you need to be in the present okay um so this person is definitely part of your life purpose and i feel that uh, you are part of their life purpose and it's almost like you're being guided as well to uh, not play it so safe anymore, uh, Scorpio. So if you've got a little inkling that this person, you're quite drawn to this person, go with it, go with it because um I feel like you're being guided to say, this is the time, this is the time uh, to get on track with this person, uh, whether or not it's a breakup, whether or not you haven't even recognised that uh, there's somebody around you that has a heck of a lot of love for you um, and just wants to be with you. You may not even be seeing it. So I feel that you're being guided to be in the present, okay? This card wanted to come out. Yeah, look, you may be feeling a really uh, alone, um, very much in limbo okay not sure which way you're going uh maybe with regards to work and money maybe with regards to relationships and love it could be anything but right now you're feeling very much alone very much orphaned um i'm here to tell you that the wisdom that's coming in is that you're not alone you are not alone your spirit team are around you in a very very powerful way to the point where they're bringing in animal totems or animals in reality to kind of be around you so look out for those signs and synchronicities of uh, animals coming around you because it's like they're trying to uh, uh, almost kind of ground you to be in the present. There's no need to be in limbo. Um, it feels as if by being in the present and seeing the path that is being illuminated to you, an opportunity that's being illuminated to you to make money, um, to get that windfall, to win that contract, to get that new job, um, to come into union with the person that is right in front of your nose and you're not seeing it, okay? Um, they're coming to tell you that you're not alone. You are not alone at, at all, okay? Let's continue. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please, can you tell me your uh, our crowning with thank you? 
yeah that's uh, that doesn't surprise me deep knowings coming in here uh you're being guided to connect with your higher self okay connect with your intuition you remember i was saying in the channel's message that it feels as if your person is quite um intuitive i would say that you are equally as intuitive but you may not be aware of how intuitive you are. You might get that gut feeling um, that has served you well. I feel that you're being guided to harness that because many of you, it's a spiritual gift that you have. Um, and it does bring with it a lot of wisdom. So they're saying here with the wisdom, it, with this deep knowing card, is that deep down your soul recognizes whoever you are connecting with. And you're being guided. If you feel that you're alone, if you feel that you're in limbo, if you feel that you're not unsure, go within, connect with um, your higher self, because that deep knowing, that understanding, that wisdom is within you to tell you that you're not alone, okay? Um, that you are going towards your life purpose, but it's almost like it's, you don't need to play it safe now, move forward. Yeah, look, it's time to go. Many of you may have walked away from this connection, you may have literally picked up your bags and walked, okay? And I feel that you're being guided um, to know that it's time to go either through a, a, a new path or to recognize that deep knowing within you that you may need to circle back and take the path to this person because they're part of your life purpose. So I feel that this wisdom card is just echoing um, that you may have literally picked up your bags and left, okay, or um, denied or resisted or avoided this connection because you didn't really see it, but it's there. It's there, that path is there. And I feel that your your spirit team are saying you, you need to kind of go towards it, go towards your life purpose, because there's a lot of um there's a lot of prosperity with whoever you are connecting with. Okay. It's time to go. It's time to um I mean Traditionally, this card, the description in the booklet does say, uh, pick up your, your, your stuff and go. It's time to, you know, a door has closed. In context of your reading and in context of the channeled message that I got, it's almost like many of you may have done that already. And therefore, you weren't in the present. You're not in the present. Hence why you're feeling alone, feeling in limbo. It may be your deeper knowing, your wisdom that's saying to you, you've done something wrong. Your spirit is not settled with you walking away. Away from this connection and I feel that you're being guided to be in the present and know that you can circle back you can circle back and uh, restart this connection but the choice is yours okay the choice is yours okay Scorpios, if this message is resonating for you already, please feel free to click that thumbs up button on the video. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. It really does help to push this video out to other Scorpios and um of course, it does um, help to uh, uh, support and strengthen um, the channel as well. So I thank you in advance for your support and encouragement. OK, um, existing subscribers, welcome, welcome, welcome back. Thank you for all your support, encouragement and donations. It's really appreciated. And I hope that you all receive a useful and meaningful message out of this week's uh, reading. OK. Let's get into your main love message. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please, can you tell me how does these soulmates of Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus feel towards them in love? Week commencing Monday the 13th of December through to Sunday the 19th of December 2021. What is their current energy spiritually, emotionally, mentally and physically towards Scorpio that I'm allowed to see for their highest good and for the greater good of all? As above, so below, and all around me. Thank you. Scorpios, any of the cards that jumped out in the pre-shuffle whilst meditating for this reading, if they come out on camera, I will call them out for you. Okay. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you tell me how does the soulmate of uh, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus, okay, 
Okay, so whoever it is you are connecting with, I feel as if they want a new beginning based on some sort of truth and they are definitely coming towards you, okay? Uh, I feel that if you did walk away from this connection, I feel that you that this is why that they're upset, really disappointed because they do see you um, as their twin flame, their ultimate soulmate and they want to speak their truth. Uh, yeah, many of you with that, not, I don't know if that came out upside down or not, but I feel that they felt um, that you uh, said something quite cutting to them. Okay, uh, two of swords here, two swords showing up here. So this person is very much at a crossroads as to how to initiate this conversation to speak their truth. Uh, they may have felt that um, you said something, you cut them out or you said something um, out of frustration, um, out of anger. Um, and I feel that you're being guided to really look deep within that as to why you said what you said. OK, um, and you will see that there's great wisdom there. OK, um, it kind of feels as if whatever you said was meant to happen, you know. OK, so whoever you're connecting with, I feel as if. Uh, straight off the bat. I mean, it could be your energy. It could be their energy. We'll get some clarifiers. Um, but this person, I would say, is 100% ready for long-term commitment marriage. They could be married already or you could be married to this person. Um, on your side, you're also ready for long-term commitment marriage material. Both of you are relatively stable balanced individuals don't want no kind of nonsense in your life um you want the real deal okay and i feel that both of you see each other as long-term marriage long-term commitment okay thank you wow okay so whoever you are connecting okay wow okay straight off the bat <clears throat> whoever you're connecting with this is their energy for sure this is their energy as well and you know something whether you're male or female this king of swords is your energy uh scorpios uh you cut this person out avoided the connection and look one two three swords this person is absolutely heartbroken over it but you know something you're thinking about this person a lot you see this person as somebody that's very independent very attractive very free-spirited um very much they they have their own thoughts they don't follow the crowd um and i feel that remember i said to you deep down if you stay in the present you will recognize that this person is your twin flame deep down your soul knows that and you are thinking about this connection so if you cut them out and you uh walked away from this connection like like i said before the cards even came out you're it's not it's not sitting right in your spirit it really really isn't and i feel that you're being guided that you can do a 360 and turn around because deep down in your soul the wisdom that is being um try or trying to show you what your uh, higher self is trying to show you is that this person is part of your life purpose but you cut out this person. So this, this the queen of coins, the uh, queen of wands and the lovers card is this. Per well, these two cards are the, your person's energy. OK, male or female. This person is somebody that is balanced and grounded. OK, doesn't want no wishy washy relationship, but they're also quite independent, action oriented, free spirited OK, they feel that they need to speak their truth. They want a new beginning based on truth. And look, one, two, three swords. They're heartbroken over what happened. Many of you may have walked away from this connection, cut them out. And I feel that your deep knowing your inner self, your higher self within you, the divinity within you is letting you know that it's not it's not sitting right with you. Many of you have got this person on your mind, hence why they're on your side of the reading. And you know what? Both of you are thinking about each other because you're on their side and they are on your side. You're thinking of. Remember, I said that um, intuition, that um, uh, like that uh, spiritual gift or talent that you both have got that you uh, you. It's like you think of each other and like then the other and then, and then that person will call or text message or something. 
And it's just kind of like, it's because you're both on that same frequency. And it's because you're a twin flame. Uh, you could also be dealing with a Gemini here, or you could have Gemini in your chart. Let's uh, get some clarifiers. Yeah, you feel very in limbo with this person, feeling as if you're alone. It's not sitting right if you've walked away. So with the high priestess coming in reverse, uh, again, this is just confirming um, the intuition of this person. Somebody, um, whoever you're connecting with, is extremely um, intuitive. Somebody that is very, very much connected to divine spirit universe, um, your higher self, but they are feeling the loss of you cutting them out. That's why it the high priestess is in reverse. And I feel that they want a new beginning, but they want to speak their truth. With the two swords here, they're not quite sure how to initiate that conversation. And with the three swords here, it's because they are heartbroken. They feel lost. They feel like they've lost you. Let's continue. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you uh, clarify how does these soulmates of Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus feel towards them in love? Week commencing Monday the 13th of December through to <clears throat> Sunday the 19th of December 2021. What is their current energy? Thank you. Oh, so we've got, yes, yeah, so this person in, with the Eight of Swords is really analysing, um, really analysing uh, conversations, going through every conversation, every action between the two of you with fine tooth comb, feeling as if they've lost you and they want to speak their truth, okay? Uh, this person definitely wants to reconcile. And I feel that intuitively, because they see you as a twin flame ultimate soulmate, it's like they're being called to restore this connection, to restore this connection with you after something that you had said that was quite blunt or quite cutting, or you basically shut down the relationship. Uh, this person, I feel they know uh, that you are both part of each other's life purpose in this lifetime but they definitely want to um uh reconcile with you but and they're being called to reconcile do you remember i said to you that it's almost like whatever's gone down with the two of you um in your channeled message it's almost as like divine intervention is getting involved divine is getting involved to um intervene and it's going to be on this person's side they've heard the calling they've heard the calling to restore the connection. These, um, yeah, these cards wanted to come out. Oh, wow. Scorpio, look at that. The death card. Uh, so your major arcana is coming up. They've been called to restore the connection with you after something that you had said. And that is what's going to bring about transformation. Uh, the death card is your major arcana. We've also got... Um, Pisces popping up here and we've got that little Scorpio again um so Scorpio this person has really got you in their energy this person is thinking about you hard okay um, and I feel that they are hoping for a transformation they're hoping for a change they may have been really really um, I would say apprehensive to have any discussion, not sure whether or not um, you are their twin flame ultimate soulmate. It almost feels as if they're questioning the connection, okay? Um, operating from a place of fear. They're, they're being illuminated to something this week, okay? And possibly where that kind of fear is coming from, if you walked away from this person, they could be feeling very alone, very in limbo, OK, but something is being revealed to them that is going to be transformational. OK, being enlightened in some shape, form or another. OK, whatever is in the dark is um, coming to light. And I feel that that is I feel that they're picking up um, that you need to be in the present. And once you find yourself in the present, you will see that this person is right underneath your nose in terms of this is your twin flame, ultimate soulmate. Somebody that is part of your life purpose, basically. Let's continue. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you uh, clarify how does these soulmates of Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Thank you. Thank you. OK. Yeah. And this is their energy again. You're, you're thinking about this person hard. 
you see this person i always say with like the empress the queen of coins and the nine of coins i always see that as um one in the same person i feel that you've got a lot of respect for this person whether they are male or female it's a lot of feminine energy here so it feels as if a lot of their feminine energy is coming through you feel this person you you feel their their um divine feminine energy whether they're male or female it doesn't matter because we all have divine masculine and divine feminine uh energy within us this person is very very much in their emotions right now really disappointed um feeling really burdensome over whatever was said over you cutting them out shutting down the connection feeling really really heartbroken but on your side you've got a lot of respect for this person you see this person as very attractive um very wise very independent Independent, somebody that has created a comfortable environment um, for themselves and it feels as if um, by you putting together your resources this is where the two of you have real financial wealth there may be something the two of you do together like launch a business or um, you you help each other there, there's something by putting your talents together actually is very, very prosperous. And this person knows how to do it. They know how to do it, okay? Um, yeah, I, I feel that this person with the Queen of Swords, look at that, the King of Swords and the Queen of Swords, uh, I feel that this person uh, feels as if you cut them out. You may have felt that they cut you out, but they want to come towards you. Look at that one sword, that one sword. They want to come towards you and speak their truth, but they are very, very much guarded, okay? Um, but they definitely see you as with the King of Swords and the Queen of Swords. Um, they see you as the divine counterpart. And that is what I feel that you're being guided to be in the present. And if you can do that, that is where you will see that they are your twin flame, your divine counterpart. I would say that this person, whoever you're connecting with, they've got a good responsible job, hence why they are being able to um, create a comfortable environment for themselves. So you've got a lot of respect for what this person has achieved. OK, professionally, I, I would say. Yeah, they may be a person that is in a high powered job or something, but it feels as if um, you may have felt that they cut you out or, you know, they're coming towards you wanting to speak their truth, open to talk. Many of you, uh, as they come towards you, that is what they're doing. Their driver behind it is um, they want to fight for this connection. OK, this energy is definitely this person over here. They want to fight for this connection, but possibly don't know how to initiate a conversation with you. Wow. OK, do you know something um, with the uh, this is really quite cool, actually, because with the five of coins, it so the five of coins face up shows that there's a breakup. OK, that's you. Uh, I feel cutting this person out and uh, uh, going in a different direction, trying to close the door in this relationship. That is the disconnect. That's the disconnect um, and breakup of the connection. But with it in reverse, in it, with it in reverse, as you be in the present and recognize that your twin flame, your ultimate soulmate by connecting with your higher self is right in front of you right in front of you you can do a 360 and recover from this disconnect recover this breakup okay my angels and spirit guides of the divine please can you clarify how does these soulmates of scorpio thank you wow yeah, look at that. And as you be in the present, um, it's as if you kind of understand that you want to put any discourse, um, any arguments, any disalignment behind you and move forward with this connection. Um, and you know what? When you realise that this person that you walked away from um, or shut down or said something cutting, avoided, resisted the connection, uh, you're going to definitely be uh, retreating. Uh, this week really thinking about it and when you have that aha moment it's going to break your heart you're going to be like oh my god I walked away from this person that's possibly why this orphan card is coming you're in limbo it's like oh my god am I alone now is this person really really gone okay um no they haven't because they are taking action towards you this is you feeling heartbroken over this person the queen of wands 
okay going in healing trying to rest this monkey mind wanting to move forward and when you do that is when you come out of recovery um, of this breakup of walking away from this person okay and i feel that they will come towards you they will they will reciprocate um you um being in the present i feel that this person will pick up they will pick up uh, when you have cottoned on um, that they are part of your life purpose and I feel that they will come towards you because they do want to talk but not quite sure how to initiate that conversation and when they come towards you it's because they want to fight for this connection so you haven't lost them by far it's just it's almost like uh, Scorpio it's like your spirit team are trying to show you something that's right in front of you and you're not you're just not seeing it you feel it but you you may not be acknowledging it okay yeah this person is coming towards you knight of pentacles uh they're coming towards you uh with a solid offer and many of you are feeling really uh conflicted inside like you just don't know whether or not you've really lost them feeling really conflicted as to whether or not there really is an opportunity to move forward with this person because you've walked away from them but there is recovery this is recovery with that five of coins in reverse but it almost feels as if you have to see be in the present and see the prosperity of this connection i feel that your soul your higher self knows it already it just hasn't reached your human comprehension just as yet but it has for this person okay let us um get some advice my angels and spirit guides oh thank you first advice yeah i can't look at that i can't even make this up what did i just say all the way through this be present be in the here and now use the hours don't count them so i feel that you're being guided to be in the here and now harness your spiritual gifts okay be still for a moment and really try and look at things from a different perspective if you walked away from this connection just know that you can do a 360 turnaround and be present you you may feel really conflicted to reach out to this person after you cut this person out but listen to the wisdom that's within you the deeper knowing okay this person will fight for this connection with you and look at that dear dear take a risk and fly come on scorpios come on are you be are you are you able to just be spontaneous and don't overthink things okay coming out of that uh four of um swords energy you don't need to overthink this this person is your twin flame your ultimate soulmate they are part of your life purpose do you dare to take a risk and go for it and be in the present i think you can okay i think you can you haven't lost this person at all and then we've got, ah, oh, look at that, serenity, yeah, value quiet days with only the rustling leaves breaking the silence, absolutely, so you know what, I feel that you're being guided during this week, um, Scorpios, if this is resonating for you and you walked away from this person, you didn't see what was right underneath your nose, underneath your nose, and I feel as if your spirit team are coming in to guide you to be in the here and now and to connect with your higher self, your inner child because that is where the wisdom is if you walked away from this person it is unsettling your soul is unsettling your spirit and it feels as if you're being guided to take that risk be in the present see that this person right in front of you is your twin flame your ultimate soulmate and the only way that you can do that is to be in that quiet okay be in that quiet, come out of overanalyzing, shut down that monkey mind, but also um, try not to overthink it, you know, if that urge gets you to just reach out to this person, then do so, this person will receive you, because they do want to talk, they do want to reconcile with you, okay, all right, I'm going to leave that with you, Scorpios, if it does resonate, please feel free to click that thumbs up button on the video, subscribe if you haven't done so already, until next time, I'm sending you loads and loads of love, peace and love, Right. You take care. Bye-bye.